We need a mayor who's going to be unifying and bring people together, not try to pick communities against each other. Republican mayoral candidate Nicole Maliotakis blames Mayor de Blasio and Council Speaker Melissa Mark Viverito for creating a climate that has led to a rash of statues being defaced. The latest, Christopher Columbus in Central Park. Defiled, its hands painted blood red. Hate will not be tolerated, spray painted on the base, along with an apparent threat. Hashtag something's coming and a paper sign that read save your soul. It upset voters. It's nasty. It's not nice for people to do it like this. I see this red head. I'm crazy. What people do is crazy people. This is getting out of hand. I mean, every statue you look at is getting the face. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Forced park workers to use acetone to erase the vandal's handiwork and had both the mayor and council speaker refusing requests for interviews. The mayor thinks vandalism is wrong and never the right approach to these conversations or monuments, said Press Secretary Eric Phillips. Viverito spokesperson said much the same thing, neither responding to the fact that this was the third Columbus statue targeted since the mayor said he would name a commission to remove symbols of hate from city property. Last month, the Columbus bust in Yonkers was smashed, and the Columbus statue in Astoria's Columbus Triangle was defaced. Police Commissioner James O'Neill saying tonight it may mean an increased police presence at the Columbus monuments. Anytime there is a pattern, there seems to be uh, something developing here. We would probably take additional steps, you know, whether it's putting plain clothes out or cameras out. Well, Nicole Maliotaka says the statue controversy is deflecting attention from pressing city problems, ranging from rising homelessness to fixing the subways. Guys?